God and we're not coming no form or fashion, but nothing but the pure, unadulterated word of God. Amen. God is good. So many people, amen, praise God, looking for reputation and looking for recognition. They're looking for pets on the back. Come on. But I'm one, I'm not for that. Amen, glory to God. But I gave my life to the Lord, amen, praise God. I gave to him, amen, in 1996. Amen, praise God. Hallelujah. And I've been, I, I mean, I, I, I've been pressing ever since. And I yeah. sold out. I mean, I completely yeah. sold out. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. There's nothing back there to me. Yeah. Amen, glory to God. I'm pressing for yeah. Amen. Vincent, yeah. been through some things, amen, some hardships, some ups and downs, some battles, amen. But the Lord always show himself mighty oh, in my yeah. life. He oh, always yeah. bring me through it. Amen. Yeah. God is so good. And we give honor to the angel of this house, Bishop Robinson. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Bishop Robinson. Yeah. Amen. All these bandits. Amen. Glory to yeah. God. All the teachers, preachers. Amen. Saints of God. God is good. Yeah. You're in a good place today. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And y'all look so good out there today. Amen. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. God is good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you know, if you will today, if you just take out, uh, praise God, uh, this, this is not the word, but it's just something. Word of uh, wisdom. Keep your focus. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your focus, saints of God. Yeah. There's so many things coming at us. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So many things that distract you or pull you away. For real. Yeah. Amen. Praise God from God. Amen. Yeah. Hold fast to your profession of faith. Oh, Trust God. Oh, yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is so good because He loves us all unconditionally. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes, he and He proves yes, it every day. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Every day, amen, praise God, and the word of God yeah. says the day of thanksgiving. Amen. And every day is the day of salvation to me. Amen. Yeah, God is good. We're not going to prolong the time. I want amen, praise God. I, I try to cut through little small preliminaries as much as possible and get on with the word of God. Come on. And if you want to take for a thought today, the word of God is rebuilding the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Rebuilding the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something before. Uh, we go into the word. I've been going through a little something for a while. Amen. Glory to God. But I know that God is my shield. Yeah. Oh, glory yeah. to God. Yeah. He's my help. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. In a time of sorrow. Yeah. In a time of need. Yeah. In a time of trouble. Yeah. He's always there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Strengthening yeah. me. Yeah. Blessing me because I can do all things yeah. through yeah. Christ who strengthens yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. God is so good. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I want to tell you something, amen, praise God, a little bit before we go forward. Amen, hallelujah. What walls are. Yeah. Now I'm going to talk about the natural walls first. Yeah. Walls are a petition right. that's put up to divide. Yeah. Amen, praise God. It's put up to protect. Uh -huh. Amen, glory to God. Amen. It's put up, amen, praise God, to petition in or to enclose in. Yeah. Glory be to God. Those are the natural walls. Yeah. But in this lesson, amen, praise God, we're going to talk about the spiritual walls. Oh, yeah. Rebuilding the walls. Yes. Amen, hallelujah. Yeah. Now, I want you to know that, amen, that any time when uh, the people of God fall back, amen, and it begin to dwell down, amen, glory to God, that means that, amen, we have let the enemy come in and burn down the wall. Right. Y'all yeah. come on now. Yeah. Right now. Come on now. You're going you, you're gonna to hear God speak to you today. Come on. Amen. But he don't just want you just to hear it today. Come on. He yeah. won't reform. Yeah. Yeah. He won't yeah. reform. He won't yeah. reform. He won't change. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. How to we profess to be full of power, full of glory. How to so anointed, so appointed, amen, yeah. Lord God. Yeah. So knowledgeable. Yeah. Walking in the Holy Ghost five yeah. that time. Yeah. Holy Ghost feel. Yeah. That's what yeah. we say, yeah. amen, Lord God. Yeah. And when the trials of life yeah. come, the trials, amen, praise God, we're going to run it now. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We go a wall on God. Come on. Glory yeah. to God. But God is looking for a people, amen, praise God, that's going to withstand the storm. That's going to get some little cuts and bruises sometimes. Yeah. You're going to get knocked down sometimes. Oh, yeah. Amen, yeah. praise God. Sometimes your breath may get knocked out of you. But guess what, amen, praise God, you will breathe again. Yeah. God is so good. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. amen, hallelujah. Amen. But you know, amen, praise God, kneel bow. Amen, praise God. He was a strong leader. Yeah, yeah. he was. Very strong leader. Amen. Courageous, amen. Uh, had a heart after God's own heart. He loved God. He loved the work of God. Yeah. And the word of God said that when he heard 
the report that the walls of Jerusalem had been burned down, amen, glory be to God. He said, oh no, it can't stay like that. I got to do something. And see, God is looking for some, some people that want to do something in this hour. Amen, praise God. Not just say something. Amen, praise God. We got the wise people that say stuff all the time and never back up with, with, with doing something. Amen. amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And the man of God, after he took this, this petition to God, the word of God said, man, he prayed 12 times to the Lord. He prayed when he was talking to people. See, a lot of people don't realize that when you're talking to people, you can pray at the same time. And that's how a lot of times that when, when I feel the Spirit of the Lord come up on me, when I hug people, when I begin to pray, pray to, about the people and for them while I'm hugging them, that's a lot of time for a lot of people. The Holy Ghost, I want to let y'all know, it's the Holy Ghost that dispenses miracles. Yeah. It's releasing the Holy Spirit, amen, yeah. glory to God. Yeah. And we're to be, amen, praise God, sent into the Holy Ghost. Yeah. See, sometimes so we talk too much. Amen. 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 We talk amen. too much. Amen. And some of us don't know how to receive from one another. Come on now. You got yeah. to be a certain person in order to receive from one another. But God is going to tear down some old, raggedy walls today. Glory be to God in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Then he won't amen. Hallelujah. So spiritual walls. Come on. To be built, yeah. to be fortified. Amen. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. You yeah. know, something is fortified, it's made strong. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory yeah. be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I also amen. Praise God. It's, it's, it's being fortified, that means that it's uh, furnished with the, the quality uh -huh. and also the power. Amen. Praise God. That's needed. Yeah. And that's what needed in the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. See, some some were sent and some went. Amen. Some people that, that went on their own, amen, praise God, they feel a lot. They run out of steam. Amen. But God in this hour, yeah. hallelujah, he's building up a nation of people. Yeah. That's the whole man God. That's yeah. building them up. Amen. See, he and I saw the vision. He ran with the vision. Amen. Yeah. Glory be to God. He saw what was in the people, what he needed to do. And he prayed and he was led by the Holy Spirit. He listened to God. Amen. Hallelujah. The man of God was awesome. Amen. Praise yeah. God. He was a strategizer. Amen. Glory be to God. How do you use strategy, uh, strategy on the enemy? Amen. Yeah. Amen. So let us read. Okay. Jeremiah. I mean, Nehemiah. I'm sorry. Nehemiah chapter 1. It said, The words of Nehemiah the son of Hachalab, and it came to pass in the month Chislu. In the twentieth year, as I was with Shu in Shushan, the palace, that Hananiah, one of my brethren, came, and he and certain men of Judah. And I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity, that is, in the providence, are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And he said, And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept, mourned certain days, and fasted and prayed before God of heaven, and said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God, that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Let thine ear know. I mean, let thine ear now be attentive, and thine eyes open, that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, yeah. which we have sinned against thee, both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments, which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Remember, if you transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if you turn unto me Come on. and keep yeah. my commandments and do yeah. them, though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet will I gather them from this and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are the servants of thy people whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power and by thy strong hand, O Lord. I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attending to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servant, who desire to fear thy name, and prosper, I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. 
for I was the king's cupbearer. Uh -huh. And we know that, amen, praise God, that uh, Nehemiah was, amen, glory be to God, the king's cupbearer. Amen. He prepared the drink and his food for him. He would always make sure that no one had put poison in his food. And he, he, he had favor, amen, praise God, with the king. Amen, glory to God. And one day he came in to the king. That's in chapter 2. And uh, his conscience was sad. And he asked him why he was And he feared because, amen, praise God. She okay, Gabby. She okay. She okay, Gabby. She's okay. She was, uh, amen, praise God. Uh, hey, look, and know that when you come in front of God, not, I mean, sad like that, amen, praise God, that, you know, you can take chance on your head being cut off. Oh, yeah. Amen, glory to God. But the king had favor with him. And he asked him, why are you saying? He said, well, I have a reason to be saying. Right. He said, my hometown is in ruins. Yeah. And, it, and nobody's doing anything to uh, build the walls. And I want to go back there and permission. Yeah. And so the king gave him permission to go. Amen, praise God, to build the wall. And how many know that, amen, praise God, God is looking for some people that cares about his business and will do what he said to them. See, you can't just, amen, praise God, come to the house of God and expect, amen, praise God, that we just hear the word, just go out this door, amen, praise God, and don't put the word to action. God looking for some soldiers, some people that's ready to work, that's active, amen. Yeah. Lord God, you want to do something. See, the people have a mind to work. Yeah. He mobilized the people, he talked to them, amen, glory to God. And even though he got opposition from the inside and outside, how many know sometimes when you're doing something right sometimes, even though it's right, some people inside the body of Christ, they got to yeah. kick and buck against it because they don't want yeah. to do anything. Yeah. It's always to know that they don't want to do anything, but they got a big mouth oh, and yeah. they put so many yeah. emphasis yeah. on what you need to do and what needs to be done, but they don't move a finger to do anything. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But the majority of the people of God agree with Nehemiah. Yeah. And he taught them, he trained them, he prayed. For them. Amen. Hallelujah. He counseled with them. Amen. Glory to God. And see, that's what's missing in the church. Amen. A lot of times we'll call people to position and the people don't know what to do. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to let that sell just for a second. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We'll put people in position and they don't know what to do. Yeah. Right. Amen. They're not being trained. Right. They're not being yeah. instructed. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of times people bump heads. Right. A lot of times yeah. people just like, um, uh, um, uh, Cars going down on, on, on one way street, they mean they in their wrong lanes and they run into one another and then the confusion and the, and the trouble right. start. Amen. Right. But yeah. people have to be instructed. Yeah. They have to be trained. Right. They have to be told. Yeah. Yeah. And even if you choose an election, he said, make sure of your election. Right. Don't just say I'll do it and then you don't do it. Right. And so there are a lot of people that are missing action. But if, if but if you get in your place, that person get in their play, and if she get in her play, and if he get in his play, and if leadership stay in their play, amen, we come together, amen, praise God, we agree, amen, glory to God, then we can get some things done, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, so there are a lot of people that are not being obedient to God, they're going about their own way doing things that they want to do, and that's why a lot of people that you just allow, amen, praise God, the people that God allowed to ministers, amen, pastors, whoever, to come into the house and just put them right in position without them being approved. That's why everybody keep falling down. Yeah. Yeah. I don't hear no too much, too much amen on that. Right about it. But it's the truth in it. Amen. The word of God said first, amen, praise God, prove yourself. He said prove yourself, prove your ministry. Amen. He just said, come here and preach your ministry. He said, prove it first. Come on now. See, so y'all not going to like it, but I got the same thing. Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing, that same run. Come on now. But I don't think about me. I was afraid. I was real timid. Yeah. I didn't want to do anything. Right. Amen, God. Right. Because I was afraid. I, I felt inadequate. Yeah. I felt like I could do what God called me to do. Right. Amen. Yeah. How many know that, amen, praise God, you need courage to do this? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people look at it and think that, so, oh, they own the license and up there and stuff like that. It's not about us. Amen. It's not about me, but it's about Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. And first of all, too, you got to have love. Yes. 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 I'm talking yes. about God's love. Yes. Like the world love is for dissimulation. Right. Yeah. Long as you do what they want you to do, amen, they'll love you. But yeah. then if you don't do what they want you to do, then, 
Amen. Praise God. They want to destroy you. Amen. But God's love is a forgiving love. Yeah. Not because you have respect and mercy, but you get, you forgive. You walk in forgiveness. Amen. Praise God. And that verse is for the unity. You come together. Amen. Hallelujah. But Nehemiah, amen, praise God, he mobilized the people. Amen. Hallelujah. And they came together. And they built the walls. Amen. And over there in chapter 3, it names all the people that came together and built, amen, praise God, what they built and, and what their position was in building the wall. Now, yeah. we're going to always have opposition That's in the right. faith. Yeah. We're going to always, as I heard the of God say, have in it. So we know that Seth yeah. Nell, amen, yeah. praise God, and Tobiah, and I think another name, Gershom, 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 or whatever the name is, amen, praise God, they opposed the work because he, they, they saw a threat in the mind. Say, now who is he? He coming here, amen, and he want to try to take this territory back over. See, Satan is bound to take this territory. Yeah. How many know that he's trying to steal your identity? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the word of God in John 10, 10 says he come back to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Yeah. But yeah. Christ said, I came that you might have life and have life more abundant. Yeah. You got to stay connected to the vine, says God. Yeah. Yeah. You got to have that personal relationship with God. Yeah. You got to know him and he got to know you. And you definitely got to have the Holy Ghost. Yes, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And the word of God. We're understanding. Now on the inside being led and taught by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You just can't go out on your own. See, the man of God, he didn't go out on his own. He went and he asked permission. Amen. Praise God. After he consulted God. He consulted God Amen. first. Right. Then he came to the king. Uh -huh. Amen. Glory yeah. be to God. Then, amen, praise God, he gave him favor, amen, praise God, with man for the thing, the, the, the uh, provision that he needed to build these walls. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's the way we're to be. We're to come together, amen, glory yes. to God. So many times, people, the people of God go through things, and because, amen, forever the, the cause may be, the people seem like they um, say, well, I'm on the island by myself, I don't need nobody. But how many know that when you're going through, that you call another saint, they can help you? Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. We can't have a respected person. That's right. So that wall got to come down. Yeah. And the wall of communication, yeah. love, yeah. and compassion, yeah. yes. and trust. You got to trust somebody. Yeah. Right. Amen. Glory to yeah. God. Hallelujah. He said, you should know them by the fruit that they make. Yeah. Amen. And I'm telling you something. When you live in this life, no. you're not going to be loved or respected like you think that you should be loved or respected. Amen. Because, see, you, they mean that you're not going to take down. You're going to be Christ-like. I'm not talking about being mean and indifferent because people always try to put you in a, in a box yeah. and say that you're mean, but you're not being mean. You're just firm. Yeah. But make sure that you have the love of God you know, and other work in the process in your life. That whatever you do, you do it in spirit and truth. Because people can see you. I can spot a pretender a mile away. Amen. But guess what? I don't hurt them. I try to show them I pray for them. And then when the Lord tells me to say something to them, I say something to them. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we see that amen. Praise God that. Nehemiah was an anointed, appointed leader. He had compassion on the people. He worked with the people. He talked with them, told them, and we praise God, what they must do. And the blessing is they followed instruction. Yeah. They followed instruction. How many of you know that we have to follow instruction? Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. It's like you said, we'll make a cake and you don't make a cake before you yourself and do it my way. And you don't want to follow the instruction of a recipe. Uh, well, you're not going to have a cake. You're going to have a hot mess. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. You're going to have a hot mess. Yes. Glory to yes. God. Yes. But trust God. Okay? Let's go over here to Hebrews chapter 10. God is so good. You know, a lot of times, too, uh, all of us be, have been there, and we need to come out of that, uh, thinking that we know everything. Yeah, come on, yeah. And I don't even know about teach me anything. No. 
Yeah. I don't want to hear about it because I know more of this than I want to know more of that. But then you examine your life to see it and praise God. Are you really putting in, in, in process the things you say that you know? Are you really living it? Do you really understand what you read? Okay, Hebrews 10, 25 said, Not forsaking the sin of ourselves together, as the matter of some is, but exhorting one another, and, to, and so much more, and so much the more, as you see the day approaching. Amen, praise God. Okay. It's not a time to scatter the saints of God. Yeah. Yeah. It's a time and the time to come together. Amen. amen. To come together at the body of Christ. To come together, amen, praise God, and let us mobilize ourselves together. Let us unify together. Let us stand together for the word of God. Let us do the work, amen, praise God, and the labor that's required, amen, hallelujah, and, and obey the commandment that the Lord has given us, amen, praise God, to do what he said do, because time is short. Oh, yeah. See, it used to be that people would, would equate everything, say to God, by age. Right. Say, well, she this age, and he that age, they soon going to be gone. Well, you can't say that anymore. Because the devil is after this generation. Yeah. Yeah. He's after this generation. Yeah. And guess what? He's doing a good job. Yeah. He's killing and he's stealing yeah. and he's destroying. Yeah. Men are leaving here before the time. Yeah. And, 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 and the world, they're looking at the church. That's the reason why so much blasphemy against the church. Because they see things and some people lie that's not lying up with the word of God. Yeah. And even though they're not saved, some of them know, amen, praise God, when you are out of order. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And so sometimes, whenever the word goes forth, when it touches us, don't get angry at the person. Don't know the word, amen, praise God, uh, say you was talking about me. Well, if it, if, if it was true, why would you get angry at me? Amen. Yeah. You know, we got to first examine ourselves That's it. to see if we be in the faith. Yeah. The word first goes to the preacher. Before I go to you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because yeah. all of us every day should be working on our own yeah. soul salvation yeah. with fear and yeah. truth. Amen. Yeah. Now it's a blessing, amen, praise God, that you have leaders that people believe in. Amen. Yeah. And that follow. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. See, that's a great following away. Yeah. But we don't have to be part of that great following away. And we just follow leadership as they follow Christ. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the time to follow away. Right. Amen, glory be God. Nehemiah yeah. took, amen, praise God, the plight upon himself. He knew that God, amen, praise God, was able to complete, amen, praise God, the vision that was set before him. And, 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 and it's a blessing also to have faith. Because he had faith with the king. He let him be gone from his present duties because he asked for 12 years. Isn't that something? Yeah. 12, that's a long time. Yeah. Glory to God. God is so good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he had a passion just as strong to do the work of God and to complete it. So we got to complete it. He said the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to those who endure to the end. And then we just can't keep running in and running out like a bird running back to his nest and come back when he get ready. You can't do that. You got to continue in the faith. Amen. And that's how you draw. That's how you increase. By continuing in the faith. Continuing in the fight. Continue your present, amen, glory to God. A lot of us in here, amen, praise God, have gotten wounds this year. Amen, right. praise God. Things have gone on in our families, amen, praise God. Love one going on, love one taken unjustly, amen, praise God. This taken from you, that taken from you, amen, praise God. Decrease in this era, amen, lost this, lost that. But guess what? You got to lose in order to gain. Amen. God knows. Yes. God moves. Yeah. God is faithful. Amen. Yeah. But through it all, even though the enemy is meant for your bad, to hurt you, to bring you down, to make you turn away from God, God worked through for your good. Yeah. And yeah. as you see yourself in the faith, you see the changes that's coming forth in your life. Yeah. In your, in your uh, prayer time. Yes. In your witness. Yes. In your talking. In your thinking about one another. In your love toward one another. Yeah. You may not be there 100%, yeah. but keep on yeah. pressing. Thank you. Keep on pressing your reap that you faint now. Oh, yes, God ain't good God. Yes, amen. Amen. Thank you. amen. So he said, Amen. Don't forsake, don't, don't put off, don't cast down. Don't amen, praise God. Disassemble yourself. Just to pacify your flesh. But come together. We're strong together. Amen. Glory to God. The world is watching.
watching the church. Yeah. I said he watching the church. Yeah. And yeah. some yeah. we do well for him because we feel it's like we know better. Yes, man. Yeah. It's just like a child being in a classroom and the teacher teaching. But that child, he want to do what he want to do. He want to fit you with moms. And he want to, amen, praise God, draw a little, little monkey shines on paper. <laughs> amen, praise God. Uh, hallelujah. And he's not listening or she's not listening attentively what the teacher's teaching. You're going to miss something. Yeah. See, so many times, it's a sheep. People always say sheep are dumb. They want to eat what they want to eat. Oh, yeah. Especially when they feel like they're not saying nothing. Oh. But when you, amen. Oh, that's the truth now. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. But God, let me let me let me let me inform you what you already know. The angels are taking notes. Yeah. Uh, on each amen. one of us in, in the sanctuary today, yeah. all over the world, what your mind is, what your thoughts are, what you what you're saying. And I used I to have to rebuke my man all the time, always talking back when the preacher's saying something because I feel it's like he don't know what he's saying, and I put my two cents in there. The Holy Ghost said, rebuke me. So I hear you. I hear you. And your words been stout against God. Amen. Hallelujah. It takes all of us, all of us, amen, praise God, in the body of Christ, working together to perfect, amen, praise God, the things in you that have come forth, amen, glory to God, the things that God has put in you, amen, that's more, that's greater in you, amen, hallelujah, glory to God. So we have to let nobody put you down. Amen. 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 Okay, we we'll see that Nehemiah told the people teamwork. Yeah. We got to work together. Yeah, that's it. We all working together in Christ Jesus. Amen. It's no time to separate yourself trying to get your own. There's so many people putting away for the body of Christ because they want recognition for themselves. Oh. They want a name for themselves. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And God did not send them. He did not appoint them to do that. They know what they want to do. Amen, hallelujah. Stay in the boat, saints of God. Stay in the boat. Don't be lured away by people saying, what you need to do is you better talk to some God. Because there are people that will lead you wrong. There are people that have raised up people and put them in position that God didn't call for. He said, men are chosen, but few, uh, men are called and few are chosen. Amen. Even though sometimes we may be called to do a work, called to be a pastor, called to be... Uh, 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 missionary, called to be a teacher. Many people are not chosen to do that work. He's going to look through the one that he feels like is that qualified and is going to obey what he said to yeah. That's why don't never limit the Holy One. Yeah. Don't limit yourself to say, well, you know, I didn't have nothing but a uh, fifth grade education and I can't do that and she got a college degree. Amen. Come on now. He take the foolish things to my family. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, glory to God. Amen. He said there's not many wise or educated people that he called. Uh, but he called people that say that you'll never be nothing. Uh, Who are you? Come on. You know, you was an LB. You was a, a prostitute. Uh, uh, you was a murderer. You was a thief or a robber. Uh, Amen, glory to God. He's using people. He raised up. Praise God, who he want to raise up. Yeah. He didn't know who he want to bring up. Amen, glory to God. Yeah. So don't never deliver yourself. Yeah. Don't never think that the love that you have is not important. He said, yeah. the very one that's least that you uh, esteem yeah. as being something that yeah. greater and that more efficient, more useful. Yeah. Yeah. And then they, they are the important to God. Yeah. See, his, 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 his thoughts are so much higher than ours. Yeah. So are his ways, amen. He don't think about us like we think about one another. Yeah. See, we're human and calm in nature, amen. Yeah. And many times that we'll need to our own understanding. Come on, God. Instead of amen, praise God, seeking the wisdom of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because it's always someone that can help you. Yeah. Amen. That's it. It's up to you to be obedient to go to that person. Oh, yeah. And see, one thing about what I like about amen, praise God, near about. He wasn't afraid to ask for help. Right. When you're going through battle, you're going through storms in life, don't be afraid to go to the one that can help you. Come on, right. That's it. Don't let pride that's right, get in the way right. yeah, of what God is working through that person yeah. if you go to them. Maybe he touched your heart. Thank Amen. You. Praise God. Maybe he'll be to do and to help you for what you need. Amen. Glory to God. So many times, amen, glory to God, we, we see people just as they're young. We said, how could that little child be preaching the gospel? He had never experienced anything. Who God called, he qualified. Yeah, he didn't ask you all that. 
Yeah. You read to your own understanding. Yeah. That's your words, amen. Yeah. But they're not God's words. Yeah, God can use anybody. Yeah, so amen, praise God. Yeah, Hallelujah. So Nehemiah yeah. said in, in, in uh, Nehemiah 4 and 2, he said, we're going to fortify these walls. Because see, if, if they had not built the walls back up around Jerusalem, then the enemy can come in at any time. Yeah. How many times you have let the walls of your of prayer fall and you neglect and the enemy came in and attacked you? Yes, yes. How many times in there, praise God, you have allowed the enemy to come in and steal when the Lord tell you to give this to that person yes, either go yes. bless that person and you allow the enemy to come in and tear that wall down, glory be God, and then the Lord dealt with you and you wonder why you're going through yes, the things that you're going through. Yes, yes. Amen, how you said obedience is better than sacrifice. It's better to obey God than to obey me. Yes, See, one thing about it, what I like about Nehemiah, he was, he was, he was a very smart leader. Yeah. He, he wasn't a leader with a big mouth telling everybody what God told him. That's, that's another thing that the Holy Ghost wants me to tell you. Stop telling everybody what God told you to do. Because yeah. 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 everybody's not for you. So true. Everybody's not on your side. Amen. Everybody don't want to see you prosper. Everybody don't want to see God and you know, elevate you or use you. They don't want to see that. You got to keep some things to yourself. He didn't tell even the people that he was mobilized to help build the wall. He didn't tell them that he went by night, the word of God said. And he just, he looked, amen, praise God. He, he, he strategized. He said, yeah. I see how I can do this and how I can do that. And it was in the night season, the word of God said, in, in chapter 2, that, that he went out and he took note, amen, praise God. Then what he done, he came back and he prayed to God. Yes. See, he was instructed. You can't lose when you're instructed by the Holy Ghost. Right. Amen, hallelujah. The word of God said, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Amen. And leave not that I don't understand. Amen. He said, if you will acknowledge him in all your ways, oh. you will direct your path. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Amen. Amen. My family was thinking about taking a trip to Austin, Texas, to Slutterbar. I know some of y'all are familiar with Slutterbar. Amen. Praise God. How I mean, in Texas, y'all. Gallatin, Texas. And I prayed to the Lord because I know the circumstances that my husband is going through with his hand. And I said, Lord, if evil awaits them, if the enemy is setting them snares against them, I said, Lord, I pray in Jesus by name. Lord God, change that plan. Turn it around. Cause them not to get made this trip. And when I talked to her yesterday, she told me, she said, Mama, I don't think that. Amen. Praise God. We can, we're gonna go. Right. Amen. For this battle or for that man. See, God answers prayer. Yeah, yeah. Talk to God as often as you can. Yeah. Keep those walls of prayer and supplication up. Amen. Praise God. Pray all the time. Pray in season and out of season. Amen. Glory be to God. Okay, another wall. Amen. Praise God. Spiritual wall. Hallelujah. It's communication. We shouldn't be getting along with one another. Amen. You shouldn't have a respected person. The Lord said he didn't have a respected person sin. Amen. Glory to God. How are you going to know that person unless you communicate with them? It's not only just a word. He said, Lord, not a word on it. And what he said, deed and what? Truth. And truth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen, hallelujah. We got to deal with one another in truth. Yeah. Amen. We got to reach out to one another. Amen. And so many times we allow our past to come in, amen, praise God, to direct us what to do because of how people done in the past. Yeah. Amen. You need to lose them and let it go. You need to yeah. lose them and let it go. Yeah. Because how are you going to go to your future? You don't need to bring all that bags into your future. Okay. Amen, glory be God. There's going to be weights on you. Yep. Amen, how there's going to be hindrances in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, glory be God. But trust God. Okay. Ask Him to heal you. Yeah. Say, so, Lord, I'll release it. I'll renounce it in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to just lose it, God. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now trust you, God. Okay. Hallelujah. Yeah. And ask Him to give you a brand new strength. Yeah. Amen, glory to God. And keep pressing forward. Don't look back. Keep pressing forward. God is so good. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. First Peter 5 and 8 through 10 talks about suffering. Somebody get that. First Peter 5 and 8. First Peter 5 and 8. 
See, even though it may praise God, the Lord had blessed me about, gave him provision. Amen, praise God. And he gave him help with people, faith with people. Amen, praise God. He did, he suffered. He went through some suffering. You're going to go through some agony, some pain. You're going to lose things. Amen, glory be God. You're going to lose friends that you thought would be a friend for a lifetime. Yeah. Amen. But some friends are, are not always permanent. Oh, some right. are just temporary. Yeah. Right. Amen, glory be to God. Just as some end yeah. that help you to get to that other level, like the one with God say. Yeah. God used them. You'll work through them. Oh, yeah. Amen, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So our best blessing came through people that didn't like us. Yes. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Woo. Hallelujah. First Peter 5, 8 through 10. Somebody read it loud. Hey, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may divide. Nine, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Ten, for the grace of, for the God of all grace, who hath called us unto His glo eternal glory, yes, by Christ Jesus. After that, you have suffered a while. Make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle them. Amen. 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 Now, someone asked the question, said, well, I wonder why would Sambala and Tobiah and Gershon, why would they come against the man of God? Because he come to do something good. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes in the midst of us doing things good, the opposing person a situation feel threatened by because there was something, in other words, uh, that they want to prove or they want to dominate. They want to seem like they're hiding you to say, look at them. Because see, they see St. Bella, and they praise God, and Tobiah, they made fun of him. Oh. They said, look at him, he's, he's in disobedience. Oh. Look at him, trying to build a wall. And, and he said, I, he threatened to go tell. Uh -huh. But see, you, like I said, you got to learn how to hold it sometimes. Oh, yeah. like, For real. See, they, they, they didn't know that he had already got permission. Yes. Come on, he had man. already got permission yes. from God, amen, praise God, and from, amen, praise God, the king to do this work. See, you don't have to go prove yourself wrong in my toe again, and I can show you the map. You don't show nobody nothing. You just got to be and do what God tells you to do. Yeah. Amen, yeah. praise God. See, you're going to suffer, you're going to suffer uh, uh, opposition. Yeah. You're going to be ridiculed. They, they was mocked, they were ridiculed. Amen, praise God. And try to come in and throw a, a wrench into the plans. Amen. Try to make the people go against one another, go against that now. But the word of God said he continued. Yeah. He continued and he finished the work. Yes, Lord. And that's what God wants you to do. You've had people to come in your life to try to discourage you. Yeah. Yeah. Try to tear yeah. you down. Yeah. Try to tell you you're not going to do this and you're not going to do that. Yeah. Try to tell you you need to come from over there. Uh, and you need to be over here. <laughs> amen, praise God. Well, the blessings are going on. And this and that, amen, praise God. And they don't understand, amen, praise God, that we're going to have to suffer for Christ. Right. Yeah. But through it all, we come out better than we were before the suffering suffer. Uh, amen, yeah. glory to God, because he's purging now. He's renewing and he's making some crooked places straight up. And you know when you're making crooked places straight, don't you know it's just like a pipe that's broken? If that pipe had had uh, any kind of feeling, that pipe, you said, oh, that hurts so bad. You pushing that together, you putting that glue in, you pushing, and you tightening this up. That hurt. It hurts. Yeah. You're going to feel that. Yeah. You're going to go through that. You're going to have some pain. Yeah. So he said, Peter said, don't, 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 don't be afraid when you're going through pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. Yeah. Amen. 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 He knows. He knows everything. Yeah. Amen. Praise God about us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. So we want to be, amen, praise God, a people like Nehemiah's people was. Amen. Glory to God. We want to be a people that come together in unity, that come together and be faithful to God. Amen. Because he's looking. And saints of God, he warned. The man of God warned. He said, you see that day approaching. Amen. Praise God. Over that, I think that's the next scripture in Hebrew uh, 10, uh -huh. after 25. What, what matter should we be and get ourselves together? Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. Don't be afraid to let go of some things 
that they may praise God, he may give it to you to let go of. Yeah. Because it's for your good. Yeah. It's for your good. It's going to make you stronger. Yeah. And you don't know where in your life when you've been disobedient, you also allow the end to come in through people, through things, or through gain to hinder the work of God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, hallelujah. God is a good God. Yes, God. Yes, and even though he said we suffer, and even though he may not heal us in this lifetime, we know that he's going to heal us in the next. Yes, right. yeah, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There's something to take note of. There's something to be happy about. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this I say, this I say to the young people, don't take no stock in your age. Come on. Say, I'm young and I got the whole life ahead of me. Uh -huh. Time is for a spent. Yeah. Midnight is almost on the ride. Right. Yes. And you got to make up your mind who you're going to serve. Woo! You either going to serve God or you're going to serve the devil. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You're either going to receive a blessed reward or you're going to receive a, a reward that's not favorable for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We look at it and then praise God all around us how the devil is proving that he's after this generation. The young yeah. people. Amen. Amen. Because guess what? He knows that God's going to be the more mightily. They're going to be more anointed. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. They're going to be very strong. Yeah. And yeah. courageous. Amen. Yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. So he's trying to snuff out that prophet. Yeah. Snuff out that prophet. Yeah. Snuff out that pastor. Yeah. Snuff out that bishop. Snuff out that apostle. Snuff out that missionary. Yeah. Snuff out, amen. Praise God. Those uh, uh, workers, amen. Praise God. The darkness and all that God would appoint. Yeah. He's trying to snuff them all out. Yeah. By luring you, pulling you away. Amen, praise God, for the things of the flesh that leads to death. Amen, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Yes, Lord. And you know, it's so sad that when we give people a word of wisdom and knowledge mm -hmm. about their life, mm -hmm. and they pretend that they listen, my God. Oh, Ooh, that's so oh, dangerous, my God. Yeah, yeah. Pretend they listen. Yes. Listen to the devil. And go forward with their plan. Yeah. And don't realize he's setting them up to kill them. Yeah. 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 He don't want no more hostages no more. He want to kill you. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? That he want to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. That woman, that man, and then that man, whatever it is, if it's crooked, it's not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, yeah. Lord God. It's not worth it. It's a trap. It's a trap of the enemy. Yeah. He using all kinds of strategies to try to destroy you. The devil don't love nobody. Uh -uh. Nope. But Jeremiah 3 3, what God said, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Yeah. Yeah. He said, everlasting. Yeah. That's forever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in any kind of conditions. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. He loved you. Yeah. But it's sin that separates people from God. See, everybody want to quake love with the sin. Uh-uh. Oh. You got to make your mind up. Come on. God been talking to people, word and going forth, and people said, I will do what I want to do. Yep. Amen, glory to God. And fentanyl, marijuana, crack cocaine, uh, I don't know the other drugs. Y'all may know what it is. Is it more important than your soul? <laughs> Is it worth it that little old hat that, 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 that when you take that feeling all a demon into you yeah. and have you doing things that yeah. when you look at back at the film, whatever, you can't believe you're doing what you're doing and saying what you're saying? Yeah. Amen. Just as alcohol has spirit in it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes, Glory to God. Yeah. God is so good. Yes, is. And you know, yeah. sometimes God give us a word for correction for people. But do you not know you have to wait till that time? If you wait on God, that door will open up so sweet. Yeah. He did one for me yesterday. A young lady been operating in the familiar spirit for years. But all the time when I tried to tell her, she wouldn't listen. Yeah. But when the, when the spirit came to her and said, I want to get into you, now she wouldn't listen. Yeah. God is real. That's real why. Say, we can have respect the person. But a person is telling you right. And they're instructing you in a way of right. And they're showing you, warning you about the devil. You better listen. Yeah. If your mama said, don't go to that club, don't go to the club. Yeah. 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 
And she said, let that man go. Let that woman go. Let that man go. Let that woman go. Because the devil is sick. He's going to serve you on your life. To kill you. To destroy you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It's time for a change. Repentance, amen, praise God. A changed behavior. A changed behavior. Yeah, come on. Yeah. A tree is no longer food that you have to wash them. You may not get judged them, but you can be a food inspector. Come on, come on, come on. Wash your eyes. Yeah. See, you're not over God. Right. Because it'll be continuous. Amen? Amen. Lord, Saints, we must tell the people the truth. Yeah. It's time to stop being afraid because it's mama, because it's daddy, whatever. And some people are mean as hell. Yep. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I mean, it's in a positive way. Oh, yeah. And you need to tell them, you need to yeah. stop being so mean, yeah. so hellacious, yeah. so hard headed, so stubborn, that you feel like can't nobody tell you nothing. Yeah. So they tell parents that their children can't tell them nothing. Yeah. Right. But they need to listen. Yeah. Right. Amen. They right. need to listen. Because yeah. men are set their way and hard to move. Amen. But on judgment day, Whoa. it won't be no remedy for them. Amen. That's, that's a lot of hindrance in a lot of our parents' life. Mm -hmm. They so set on making they know everything. Yeah. Amen. 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 If that's something you said, don't let that be in there because I know him. He, he don't mean nobody no good. Oh, he a nice boy. He know my, he know my uh, dad. He know, he know my dad. Come on, Trying to get in <laughs> to destroy you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Too much going on, saints. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But it's a blessing. Amen. Praise God. They have leaders. And then praise God. They're going to instruct you in the way of racism. They're going to warn you. Warning comes before destruction. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And I want to give a word of knowledge before I close. It just as a woman that's expecting, and she knows she has to go carry this baby nine months. Some say they carry more than nine months. I don't know. Because I've never been in that situation. But waiting on God is going to take patience. Yes. Yes. Keep your faith safe. Yes. Yes. Don't look at what it, what it looked like. Because hey. I can tell you something right really by me. I looked at myself and I said, well, I said, I'm almost in my 40s. And I said, I, I'm not married. What am I going to do? So I got desperate. Yes, I know that. I, I know that. I'm going to write that book soon. I'm going to write it. I, know. I was so desperate. I was looking for love in all the wrong yes, places. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, did I go through the ring? Yes. Amen. It looked like it always the devil will send you the lowest in the back. Uh-huh. Come on. Won't work. Come on. Won't work. Come on. Don't want to work. Amen. Hey. Praise God. For the lies.
can respect you and honor you just the way that you are. Yes. Amen. Right. Stop, stop being so picky because he don't have no hat. Come on. <laughs> Bow heads look good. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen.
it's always starting stuff. Yeah. It, it, it's bad that we have peace in the house, and then here comes somebody trying to destruct that peace. And that's what the devil comes to, and that's how you get another thing. Especially if they never change. And they've been told, Amen, glory to God. He said, reject them, don't receive them, because they're unruly. Amen, glory to God. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Do you believe that he loves you today? Yeah. 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 He loves you all conditionally. Yes, he does. Amen, yeah. God. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, one thing about it, I can't do nothing all by myself. But with your idea, your idea, your idea, or your gifts, or whatever coming together, we can, honey, it's nothing that we can't do. Yeah. And that's what we are not talking to people, amen. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. God bless you. I'm going to pray. Let's give the Lord another hand praise. Yeah. Go back and read Nehemiah. Yeah. And you'll see just how that the people agreed and they came together. It's beautiful. It's power in agreement. Yes, Thank you, uh, overseer. God bless you. God bless you. I love you. And uh, we need to come together. Yeah. And one other thing in my code before I pray, you need to learn how to fellowship. A lot of times yeah. on Sunday, yeah. we don't yeah. want to give up an yeah. uh, uh, hour or two of pleasure on the sofa. Come on now. Uh, uh, you uh, are watching the shoot em ups in your movie and your popcorn and your Kool-Aid. You don't want to give it up for that with your spiritual but We learn from one another. And that's how fellowship comes. Sometimes we get our deliverance in other places. Does not mean that the power is not here, but that's just the way God works. Right. And if you was here for the uh, revival, you will see how God worked. You, you at your church for the word that he brought for here, but, the, but one, some of his members come with him, they got their deliverance here. That's the way God works. Oh, yeah. You don't ever know how he's going to move and how he's going to show up. Yeah. Amen. God is so good. And I just thank God for you and I love you all. We're going to pray. And I'm going to ask that you stand. Stand for prayer. Amen. And no matter what your situations are today, no matter what you've been going, what been going on, what's heavy, or what's been heavy on your heart today, the Lord wants you to give it to him. He wants you to tell him about it. Not call up for your best friend to tell them. Because sometimes, believe it or not, they'll listen to you. But when, they, when that phone hangs up, they're not going to pray. Everybody don't pray you. They ask them to pray. But it's best right there when they say, pray for me. Say, can we pray right now? Now, if they say, no, just pray for me, then just write it down. Because we'll forget. We're gone. But all of us need prayer. All of us need love. All of us want right. love. We want real love. Genuine love. Amen. We want the presence of God and His power operating in our lives. Amen. Glory to God. We want to see, amen, praise God. Uh, I, I haven't got that word yet about the men. Men, where are you? That's, that's the message I'm saying. I haven't got the word out yet. Men, where are you? We need you all. You are very important leaders. Amen. And so many times the women are left unattended by themselves. Yeah. And the enemy is real attacking. Yeah. Yes, it, yes, he is. Amen. We need you all. He called you to lead and to watch, to pray. Yeah. Amen, glory to God, to stand with us. Yes. Paul admonished the men to support the women. We need that support. Yeah. What, 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 what do we look like, amen, praise God, just a church full of women? That's what God said, men, where are you? And, and, and you know what, what the revelation is? Come home. Yes. Come home. Yeah. Come back to Jesus. Come put the most down. Amen. Praise God. Cut that football off. The sports channel off. Amen. Praise God. Get out that recliner. Amen. Stop going to sleep slob and go on and sit in that chair all day long. Come back. Come home. Because we need you. You are strong. Amen. Glory to God. Men and women of God, before I pray, they're not having Bible classes at their ministry, some of them, because of the threat, because of the evils that are going on. They're taking advantage of people. Y'all heard about the 90-year-old the woman that was attacked going into the store. And the boy beat her, beat her bad and robbed her, 90 years old. See, there are so many families of children coming up without God in their lives, without a father in their life. The woman said, men, where are you? My God. We need you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
And I want to let you know this before we pray. We appreciate you. Yeah. You're mighty and you're somebody in Christ. Yeah. Amen. God appointed you. He made water for me. Amen, glory to God. We need you. You're born leaders. Amen, glory to God. And it's time for us to just pursue and step up to the plate. Amen. Because we went a lot of time to look around. We don't have no man to help us. Right. Uh, Amen. We don't have nobody to watch over us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bishop, a lot of time, we can't be here. Don't be no man to lay here now. Yeah, no. Amen. Because yeah. when we start screaming, hollering, running, that they were drinking, they were drinking, jumping in the men a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. He, he be on it. Yeah. Yeah. And even though you just subdue him or whatever you need to do. Yeah. But times will change, saints of God. Times will change. Time for us to be alert and proud and watchful. Because the devil is definitely roaring and he's devouring. Yeah. Yes, he is. Amen. Glory to God. Look at the, the death, I mean, the shootings that will come. Something I never thought I would witness. Look at that. It's going to get worse. Amen. So, me, you stand your, your, your post, stand your ground. Not only just be talking about a chair, but at home too. Be alone. Go to that door. Don't send your chair to the door. Don't send your body to the door. You go to the door. And yeah. 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 what you want. You can't open the door. Talk through the door. Yeah. Amen. You can look out the window first, like I always do. You see what it is. Amen. Glory to God. God is good. And He's worthy to be praised. Let's pray. Father God, we just thank you today. And Father, we praise you, Lord God, for the glory of your presence. We thank you, Lord God, for moving by your spirit, Lord Jesus, for enlightening us, Lord God, for awakening us, Lord God, to your word, to the truth. You said that we should know the truth, and the truth shall make us free, and who the Son of Man may free and free indeed. And Father, so many times we have misunderstandings between one another, or even either our comprehension about one another be wrong, because the devil, he's an accuser of the brother. Father God, help us. We pull down that wall today in the name of Jesus Christ. Of superstition, party fingers, bite bite, gossiping, lying, and conniving, uh, uh, contention and strife, division, hallelujah, murder spirit, Tearing one another, reputation down, breaking our pain. All this, Lord God, we pull down these walls today. We cast them down in the mighty name of Jesus. Unforgiveness, hatred, unbelief, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father God, we pray that you, Father God, we, we, we're going to come together and rebuild the walls of love. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. And, uh, communication. Lord Jesus, and trust and faith in you and faith in the word, Lord God, that we can see the good in people, Lord God. How to not only just the bad, but see the good. And we know that the good is supposed to outweigh the bad. We give you praise, Lord God. There's nobody perfect but you, Lord. But we know that we're perfected, Lord God, through your word and the Holy Spirit. That you continue to wash us and cleanse us in all unrighteousness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, let this be a new day for us, Lord God. Then we walk out in the newness of Christ. And we speak the truth to our neighbor to us hurt, Lord God, in love. Not to cast them down or hurt them and tear them down, but to let them know because we're concerned and we love them. We don't want nothing bad to happen. We don't want the enemy to come upon them on the way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we just thank you today. We praise you so much. We thank you, Lord God, for God and leaders, Lord God, for the martyr that we have for examples to follow those that are here, that are alive in this 21st century. That, Lord God, that lead us, Father God, and tell us the truth, Lord God. Pray for us and encourage us, Lord God. Show us the right way. Teach us, Lord God, the right way. We praise your holy name. And, Lord God, we just pray that healing take place to the one that may have been disappointed, may have been hurt, may have been used and abused, Lord God, by people, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will heal the hearts, Lord God. And, Lord God, that you will cause the scabs to dry up and be no more. You will cause the wound to heal that there be no more, God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. But Lord God, we just thank you so much. We're so grateful, Lord God, for this opportunity to stand before you, Lord God, to give glory, to give praise to your holy name. Yes, and Father God, bless the people real good. Yes. Bless them in their fight finances. Yes, bless them in their basket. Yes. Bless them in their store, Lord God. Bless them going in and coming out, Lord yes, God. Yes. 
Bless, Father God, the fruit of their labor, God. Bless the fruit of their bodies, God. Bless their finances, Lord God. Bless the increase, the call for increase, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Debt's paid, glory be to God. Debt free, we call in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we don't thank you. Unity in the family. Unity in the church, Lord God. Unity in marriages, Lord God. Unity in the firm relation, Lord God. Lord, heal the land, Lord God. This land needs healing, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we just thank you. We praise you, Lord God, for allowing us to come together and break forth the bread of life, Lord God. Let that will be done, Lord God. Let that kingdom come. And earth as it is in heaven. We give you all the glory. We thank you, Lord God. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord a hand. Praise. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.